Well, living in the Rocky Mountains puts us in reach of all kinds of adventures, but sometimes those adventures can be dangerous. And that's where the Alpine Rescue Team comes in. Dominic Garcia takes us to Evergreen, where they are building a history center dedicated to the volunteer group's missions. This place is going to be great. It's going to be two stories. On the bottom is what's called the vault. They're going to keep documents, records, things like that. But up top is going to be the museum with some very special pieces that really tell the history of mountain rescue in Colorado. We have memorabilia of old missions in that corner and, and historical missions over here. Walking through the Alpine Rescue Team's headquarters is like taking a step back in time. Three generations of mountain rescuer. The equipment that they had in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, and 80s. After almost 60 years, they have quite the collection. Those boots have been on missions. Those jackets have been on missions. It makes you appreciate the guys doing this back it in the 50s. It abs absolutely stuff, yeah. does, yeah. Steve Wilson right. says a lot of this is from people's garages and attics. Old skis, there's old ropes. Pieced together over the years with no official place to put it. That's why they wanted to build a museum for it and artifacts from other teams. If you don't retain it, you lose it. The new building will also house something very valuable, information, things like old rescue logs and notes, so other teams can study them and see what worked and what didn't. It can even be just written down memories of our founding members or our early members or members today that want to talk about memorable missions. There have been a lot of them, from the floods in 2013 to helping with the Columbia disaster. Teams from Colorado, including Alpine, were asked to go help with the search effort for the debris and for the crew members. It's a passion of mine, and it's, it's one of my life's work. And now I get to a museum that's dedicated to that? That's cool. It's been fun to see how things have changed over the years. Here's a look at some of the tools they use now. As for completion of this new project, the hope is about six months. In Evergreen, Dominic Garcia covering Colorado First.